The iPhone 7 has now been dropped from software support with the introduction of iOS 16. And I've got to come to terms with the fact that Apple now sees my phone as dead. If there ever was a time to upgrade, now would be it. However, I stopped updating my phone back during iOS 14, so does this all really matter? Instead of dropping hundreds of dollars for a brand new phone, I've decided to spend 25 bucks and replace the battery in my trusty iPhone 7, challenging myself to see how long I can keep using it. To encourage other people to do the same thing, let me show you how easy the repair actually was. The first step in any good electronic repair should be to completely turn off the device. For repairing iPhones, you're also going to want to make sure that you have a good screwdriver set with the particular screws that Apple likes to engineer to be proprietary. For step two, we're going to be removing the screen. This entails unscrewing the two Penelope screws at the very bottom of the device and using a tool called the eye opener to heat up the screen in order to remove it, alongside two plastic spudgers, suction cup, some plastic wedges, and playing cards. After the screen has been thoroughly heated, I'm going to use a suction cup to put pressure near the home button and one of the plastic spudgers to slice open the adhesive, using the plastic wedges to stop the device from going back together. After the screen has been lifted, we're going to unscrew the shields and disconnect the required cables. You should always disconnect the battery first, and here we're going to go ahead and disconnect the screen and remove it, though this is optional. Those strings of glue are the seal in between the screen and body that is normally used to keep water out. You can replace this, but I'm opting not to, as my phone is old enough for it to not really have to worry about getting damaged by water. For step four, we're going to be removing the barometric vent and vibration motor at the bottom of the phone. This is just so we can get easier access to the battery pull tabs in order to remove it. Speaking of which, the next step, we're removing the battery. There are two tabs located near the bottom, which when fully extended, completely remove the glue from underneath the battery. These are extremely fragile and breaking them means a very complicated process in order to remove the battery. But once they're out, you can see the battery just falls out. Batteries are disposable, so they are used over time. Mine was installed back in 2016 when the iPhone 7 launched, and the new one is from iFixit. For step six, you'll be doing everything in reverse. I'm showing here, I'm gluing the battery back in, and then you reinstall everything in the reverse order. I also repaired the charging port in my sister's iPhone 6S Plus, as well as the battery in my mother's iPhone SE. So, as you can see, repairs like this aren't as difficult as the internet makes it seem. All the parts, as well as the instruction manual I used, will be in the description. Thank you for watching, and of course, make sure to tune in next time.